How to rotate our UVs in the shader? That's the topic of today's video, a new episode in Game Math Theory. Hello everyone, I am Digvijay Sigohil and in this episode we will try to understand the internal working of Rotate UV node from my add-on ShaderLib. This video is also platform independent so whatever I am going to say will apply to Godot, Unreal, Unity or any other software that uses shaders like Blender. Now without any further ado, let's get straight to the topic right after the intro. Okay so here I have two vectors, one for right and one for up. Now rotation involves trigonometry, don't worry I will not start the lecture on that, but just an overview. Let's say we have a vector and trigonometry tells us that to find the new rotated vector for new x we need to multiply old x with cosine of angle plus old y into minus sine of angle. For new y we need to multiply old x with sine of angle plus old y into cosine of angle. Let's try these formulas in Desmos. So to rotate a right vector, I will go x1 into cosine of angle plus y1 into minus sine of angle, then x1 into sine of angle plus y1 into cosine of angle. And same thing for up vector as well. And now I can rotate my vectors. Ok, I will use this logic to rotate the UVs. Alright, I am in Godot engine and I have a scene where I have a quad mesh. I have already gone ahead and created a material that uses this shader and applied the material to our quad. Now in our shader, let's first visualize our UVs. So in our fragment processor, I will go albedo equals like 3 of uv and 0. Ok, we have these nice uvs with origin 0 0 here. Now to rotate our uv, I will create a separate function. This will return our rotated uv, so vec2 rotate uv and this will take uv as an input, so vec2 uv and one more parameter for angle, so float angle and it will be in radians, so let's call it angle red. For now, I will just return the UVs as it is. In the fragment processor, let's go vector to UV equals rotate UV, then pass our original UV. And I want to pass the angle from the inspector, so I will create a float uniform. Angle, whoops, angle equals zero. Then pass it in our rotate UV function. Then use our calculated UVs instead. And that shouldn't change anything. Now we could directly use our rotation logic, which I have shown you earlier but I will use a matrix. So let's plot a 2x2 two two matrix, mat2rm for rotation matrix equals mat2 and first row will be cosine of angle and minus sine of angle. And second row will be sine of angle and cosine of angle. Matrices are a broad topic. I have an entire theoretical video about them, so go check that out. But just an overview, 
Matrices are used to transform vectors. Transformation includes scale, rotation, translation, etc. Converting a vector from one coordinate space to another is also a transformation. For example, local space to world space. Alright, now to rotate our UV, I will simply multiply the UVs with our matrix. So UV equals RM into UV. And remember, when multiplying vector with matrix, always go matrix first, then vector. And now if I change the angle, our UVs will rotate. Now our UVs are rotating from the origin. I want to rotate them from a custom pivot point. So let's create another uniform. Uniform vector to pivot equals 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Then in our rotate UV function, let's add another input parameter, vec2 center. In our fragment processor, let's pass pivot. Now to change our rotation pivot, I can simply subtract the center from our UV. So here let's say UV minus equals center. And now our UVs will rotate from center. If I change this pivot to 1 1, our UVs will rotate from bottom right corner. Ok nice, but we have one issue here. As I move the pivot, our UVs origin also shifts, so it will mess up our texture. Let me quickly apply a texture so you can see what I mean. Uniform sampler 2D texture. In our fragment processor, let's sample our texture. So I'll be do equals texture. Then pass texture to sample. Then our rotated UVs. And then just take the RGB components of the entire thing. Let me quickly slap the texture in the inspector. Now you see if I set the pivot to 0, 0 and then rotate the UVs, it will rotate fine from the top left corner. But if I change the pivot to center, then rotate, the rotation works correctly, but our texture has also shifted, which doesn't make any sense. So to prevent our texture from shifting, here after we rotate the UVs, simply add back our pivot, so UV plus equals center. And now our texture won't shift and our rotation will work correctly. Nice. Alright, in Unity there is a rotate node already for shader graphs, but in Godot there is no rotate UV node available for visual shaders. You can use ShaderLib to get one by the way. In Unreal, I do believe there is a node for rotating UV, but I will follow this logic to create my own. Why? Because I am least familiar with Unreal, so got to get those Unreal skills. Alright, so I am in Material Editor in Unreal 5, and I will follow the same logic, so I need UVs, so I will get Texture Coordinates. I will feed it into base color so we can see our UVs. Notice that the UVs are similar to Godot. Origin at the top left and it goes 1 1 bottom right. Then for pivot I will take constant to vector. Then subtract our pivot from our UVs. So take texture coordinate and feed it into subtract node. Then take pivot and feed it into the B slot. And I believe they are called pins. Now for angle, I will use time. Then we need cosine, sine and minus sine of angle. So take time and feed it into cosine. One more for sine. Now to get minus sine. 
take the output of sign node and feed it into negate okay we don't have negate node so input maybe let's go simple way and feed it into multiply node then set the b input to minus one and we have minus sign values all right now let's create a matrix okay we only have three by three no worries let's use that then I will take the subtract node output and feed it into vector to transform pin then this basis X is the first row which needs to be cosine of angle and minus sine of angle so we need to combine these two and we can do that with append many node Take the cosine and feed it into R. Take minus sign and feed it into G. Then take RG and feed it into basis X. Similarly for basis Y as well. Take one more append many node. The second row is sine of angle and cosine of angle. So take the sine and feed it into R cosine into G and take the RG and feed it into basis Y. Now we have our rotated UVs in transformed vector and we need to add our pivot back to prevent the shifting of our texture. Let's use add node to add them together. Then feed the add node into the base color. And we have errors. Okay, so our vector and basis expects vector 3, but I've provided vector 2. So for basis, let's use RGB instead. And for our UV vector, I think first I need to split it. For that let's use mask node. Then in mask node only allow R values. This will be our X. For the Y let's use another mask node. And this time select G. This will be our Y. Then let's combine these two again. So one more append many. Take R and feed it into R. G into G. And then use this RGB instead. Okay now add node also has an error. Invalid input types. Okay yes. This is because I'm adding the pivot which is vector 2 and our matrix node output is vector 3 so let's convert this to vector 2 so let's use another mask node and select R and G channels and feed it into add node and we have nice rotating UVs let's just make it so that it rotates from the center pretty cool okay now in both unreal and Godot our UVs are rotating clockwise but in Desmos my vectors were rotating counterclockwise and the reason is very simple here I have Y axis that is positive upwards in both unreal and Godot our UVs Y component is positive downwards and that was the theory behind rotating UVs. And you can follow the logic to even replicate this in Blender as well. Bonus tip. In Unreal, we can make a custom node out of this. Select all these nodes. Right click. Collapse nodes. Then keep this node selected. 
in the details panel give proper name I will call it rotate UV now we have five inputs we only need three so here in the input pins I will delete this A for A2 I will rename it to UV for B I will rename it to pivot rename input to angle and delete this input too. I will also rename output to UV. Now due to the deletion of input pins we are getting this error. So double click our rotate UV node. It will open our subgraph. Here we have missing sine input. So take the angle and feed it into sine input pin. This add node also has a missing input. So we need to feed our pivot here. And we have our custom rotate UV node. Pretty cool. And that's pretty much the video. If you find the video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Buy Cosmic Roads on Steam. If a precision platformer is not your cup of tea, then just spread the word. That's it from me and I will see you guys in the next one.